Hello my friends, it's Danish here. We are back with some new Pokemon Snap. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Right, we left off. we um, gone through the fields during the day a couple times. We, got, we did a nighttime view. And apparently there's a new Illumina spot that we need to check out. So we'll do that now. See what the hell that means. So what? Not sure what we're going to see at this Illumina spot. Oh, here we are. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? I am highly confused right now. Oh, is that Meganium? That is a big one. And slightly bassy. That Meganium's the Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. I'd rather not just take a picture of its ass. Oh, okay. So apparently it likes the crystal bloom. Fairly silly suggestion, but this kind of feels like the Pokemon Snap equivalent of a boss fight. Go through the game until there's one like really important Pokemon that you've got to take a picture of. Okay, this explains why it was um, why Meganium was front, more or less front and center on the promotional packaging. Exactly how far are we going with just this Meganium? Let's at least be thankful it's not trying to kill us. Okay, so at least it's not. At least it don't leave it too long following just the single target. That would get quite boring very quickly. Okay, so how many different behaviors did we take a picture of? If any. Three? Oh, you cannot select photos in which the Illumina phenomenon is not shown. I see. That's kind of cheap. So the pictures only count when it's got those markings on its body. I wish I would have known that, or, been a, or I would have been a bit more selective. Okay, well at least it's a diamond rank. I do wish you were able, if you had multiple pictures of different, if you had pictures of different poses at the same time, you could submit each one of them, and I just whacked the table. Okay, Illumina spot leveled up. Oh, okay, that's the first shot of at least 5,000. Oh, it's a cell-shaded filter now. 
Oh, I'll fill you on the photo straight away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. You say that every single time. It is nice to, yeah, it is nice to see a Pokemon focused on that isn't Pikachu, Eevee, despite how much I love Eevee, and Charizard. You know, not counting the, you know, the whenever you're in the main series, not counting the main series legendary. Gorgeous, it was huge, it was saying something. Rita. Easy there, Rita, take a deep breath. Talking to you were practically dancing. <laughs> Moving on. No doubt about it, that Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. And, not the, implying there are more. I mean, what the Legends say. Yes, by all means, remind us, but not, and not specifically because I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster? Mm -hmm. It's always something like that, isn't it? So the story goes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns that, uh, and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. It's to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. To be perfectly honest, in reality, I don't think any... Um, I don't think any qualified professor would be taken seriously if he said, Oh, I think this legend really happened. They say, Okay, well, we'd like, to, we'd like them to be real, or at least some of them, but at least show evidence, not just go on a hunch. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Wasn't there one more important thing you were going to mention? Oh, um, okay. I don't know what he said now because I accidentally hit the A button. Now, as Rita already told you, we're preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire region. No sooner you arrived then than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. There's a connection. Can't be sure yet, but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Well, you know, maybe. You're a scientist, you can be a bit vague sometimes. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'd be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it, ready to officially join our research team. Well? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. Right. What are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. It's already in your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, Come on. Just wait a little bit longer. I promise it'll be worth it. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. So what exactly does she do while we're working? <laughs> that profile icon... Right, okay. Well, I haven't actually gone to the lab, lab yet, so what can we actually do there? Here. Professor's oh. lab. Not that it's your first time here. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. All right. Let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do. Excuse me. There's a server over there. No, that server there is, what, is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. Yes. Check your photo decks. Encyclopedia like record. Be building with the photos you're taking. <laughs> Come on, put together your very own photo Heck. decks. There's your space. So you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. Your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways too. Professor! Is there anything else I'm supposed to mention? Also. Where the hell did you even come from? Just zipped in like the flash. Did you cover what we can do on the internet? If you have. You can you use the online feature. You can see photos from. Okay. So if I go online, I can see what everybody else posts. Okay. They're called sweet medals. That's right. You can also see other photographers' rankings on in each score category. Okay. 
Okay, so... I didn't realize there was an online mode. Tell you what, let's take a look. Just a quick look. Oh, why is this one blocked? Oh, this was just such a route we haven't discovered. Okay, is that why that's blocked out as well? Right, okay. Not really much to say for that. Again, I'm still kind of discovering the game right now. Okay, the Meganium's my best. And there's a loading screen for the photo desks. Okay. Okay, we'll leave that for now. I would like to at least have some sort of, um, you know, uh, some sort of idea of how close I would be to finishing it. At least when it comes to how many Pokemon I've uh, found. Because, I, like I said before, I don't know how many there are. And there's another interruption. Full-fledged team member, I have something. Oh, okay, an apple. Does the apple a day keep the professor away? Because I, because holy hell, I'd like to be able to do things in my own pace. Explanation. Yeah. Huh? I mean, have you been getting me to do a lot more of the work lately? Oh well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. So this is... It's a fluff fruit, okay. You can't just call it an apple, can you? That's what they called it in the original. Sweet and tasty, make a great snack. They look like regular apples, but they're way, they're way lighter and softer. Okay, so bonking a Pokemon on the head isn't going to give them brain damage then. <laughs> Who make a Pokemon stay if you toss one of these? Let's get some pra oh, do I really need practice? I can't even skip this little screen. Yo, tutorials are based on default button layouts. I'm well aware. I know I'm kind of... <laughs> oh, there we go, I bonked him. See if I can at least get a picture of it. Oh, I can't even take a picture because I'm sure that would have that would have counted as behavior, but my A button was locked. Oh, now what? Okay, so. It, Oh, never mind. He comes back. I don't know what we are doing here. Saying, oh, you know, we should wait until the professor's done with his explanation. Then he zooms back like Flash. Thought we'd be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. I'm familiar with Len talk. I am not. It rings a bell. Yep. It's a communication tool folks here in Lentil use. We've let's say you know something exciting. You can send a photo and a description over Len talk. I can use the same things I notice on the monitor too. Okay. For lentil messages at the top right of the screen. Okay, can I go now? Right, okay. I'm assuming that's the Emolga. So we'll do that. Oh, what is this one? Main, when the game gets to this one, it starts looking around kind of restlessly. Do you think it's looking for one of its friends? Right, okay, so there's something I can trigger when it reaches that tree.
Okay, at least they, at least some, they do tend to give some sort of idea as to a couple of either behaviors or different Pokemon. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's bonk the Buffaland. Just throwing stuff at everything to see what happens. I should have guessed, really, that you can just take a picture of a sleeping Dodrio. Can I bonk it awake? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Yep. Emolga! Can I knock it out of the tree? No, no I can't. It just flies off. Well, I could have, but I don't know because I missed. I suppose I'm kind of hoping for a bit too much. I am a little bit disappointed that um, a lot of these Pokemon, they're not even, they're kind of acting like, um, you know, regular animals. They're supposed, a lot of them are supposed to be saying their names. You know, these just sound like regular ducks. They sound like the ducks you see in, you know, like the duck in near the end of Spyro 2. Oi! Get over here! Oh, now it's eating, but it was a really bad photo. Okay, can I throw a fruit at that or to knock it down or something? I don't know. I accidentally took a picture of the apple there. Wait, where was the pincer? I did just hear it. I feel like this is just me aiming, just, just well, aimlessly, really. Hoping that something happens. Okay, it is actually going for the food. Whoa, that's kind of creepy. It's like something a predator would do there. Just vines out of nowhere. That is some poison ivy stuff right there. Okay, did we at least get... Yes, we did get a few new things. That's too small and that's too big. We'll go for the too big. And that's still not different behaviour. We'll do it anyway, just for the sake of racking up the score. And a Molga, but it's facing away from us. Florgus eating, Taylor eating, okay. And Hoot Hoot sleeping. 
Okay, again, just for the sake of the points. I feel like this game is really selective about what determines different behaviour. That's still diamond, even though it's way too big. Nice work. Silver. Okay, yeah, we'll keep the first one. Mm. Nice work. Bronze. Yeah, fair enough, because half of it's obscured. Emolga, but it's facing away, so that's not going to be worth much. Nice yep, yeah, bronze. I mean, better pose, better placement, but uh, everything else was a bit bad. Mm, nice work. Gold! Okay, nice. I'd imagine it's just the size that held that back. Nice work. <sighs> oh, okay. Just not as good. New Talo and okay, silver. Probably better if it was facing facing our direction there. Mm, great timing. Oh, diamond, nice. Okay, just missing the one behavior for Florgus now. Mm -hmm. Right, I know we missed um, one or two decent shots uh, in the night level. So we'll, particularly the uh, swanner behavior leading um, a couple of ducklets, so we'll go for that. Oh, a new request, what is that? Okay, so apparently we want a yawning Torterra. Oh no, never mind, that's... um. Oh, okay, that's... Let's go just requests. That's what we want. Sometimes Florga seems to get to gather natural power from its surroundings. Right, that I haven't seen yet. Okay, so I found what Pokemon probably is, but I haven't managed to catch Emolga trying to actually do it. I'm not sure what triggers that. I imagine we'll find out at some point. No, okay, not interested. Probably because he's got a stick in his mouth. Oh, Pidgeot in flight. I missed that last time. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, I think. Alright, that's one thing. Yeah, I took a picture of a Caterpie spraying, but not just it right, just standing there. There you go, that's not bad. And... I don't know, can we coax it out with food? No, I didn't want to do that. I keep hitting the wrong... No, nothing. Okay, I'm not sure what triggers it to yawn. I 
Which I already showed the Illumina Swanner, didn't I? Oh, that, oh wait, that was a score bunny. No, yeah, that was the score bunny from earlier. I didn't notice it last time. That should be pretty good. Oh. Sleeping Pete. That's the wrong button. Okay, my mistake, I thought it was pincer during the day. I'm still waiting for a yawning Torterra. And there we go, sleeping score bunny. I know I said I didn't want to spend my time grinding for all the different behaviours, but right now that's all we can do. Okay, that doesn't count, but again, we'll do it anyway. Wait, so... So what's the difference between... <laughs> Hang on, I thought this would be the one star and sleeping would be the two star. I'm not certain where the discrepancy is. I am confused. Okay, regular Caterpie. Eating Combi. Swanna, we got... Yeah, we've already got that. And then there's one that's leading. Oh, now we can take a photo of Crystal Bloom. Pincer. Sleeping Grookey. Sleeping Pichu with an, with an apple. Okay, Gold Star. Not bad. Oh, it's because it looks curious. Oh, well, Gold Star, even though part of its head's cut off. Nice work. Gold Star, nice. nice work. So, okay, that's not bad. Silver. Great timing. Still diamond worthy, but not as good. Oh, it's, okay, so it's not because it's leading the ducklet, it's just because it's swimming. Okay, yeah, there's no way that wasn't getting a diamond. Wait, that was because I whacked it? And that was worth a diamond. It was worth a diamond because I bonked it with an apple. Nice work. Ah, okay, that's a diamond as well. Mm, nice work. Pincer. Gold. Okay, that's not bad.
Okay. Do we actually get to progress now, or...? Well, we got level two... Level two knight, so that's good. New stage, and we get changes. 500 or more in the other Pokemon category. Crystal Bloom. Oh, and I've got a new request from the Professor. Well, I mean, we all we can all see how well the requests are going, so... Let's see what we can do. The oh, okay, it's the protagonist from the original. Now then. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all around the world. He's in the court and a Luna Pokemon on camera. Way to go, that's a big deal. So? Did you bring what I asked hmm. you to? Thank you. Sure did. You're a lifesaver. Now I'll finally be able to set out. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours? Mm -hmm. An old travel companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil, too. Huh. No kidding. Well. Ooh, is that a new pod you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. Okay. Right, let, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Hmm. Hey! Huh? Back off, kid. Get your own mentor. <sighs> There's always one snot-nosed brat, isn't there? So you're the new teammate. I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Okay, Easy there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? Yep. That is a horrible idea. I'm fine with that if you are. Do I not get a say in this? You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, I'll need that badge back eventually. Uh, and if I take a super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. And, uh, so yeah, what's an ecological survey? Are we sure this kid's qu Actually, no. I was about to ask if this kid's qualified, but how are any of these kids qualified? you're all here we can get started listen up team i'm going to give you a breakdown of the survey now then this is for island our home sweet home the circle spot right here is our camp awesome. well this survey will take us past these shores and this will be our first destination hey, so why are we starting there I set a spot with high energy readings. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up in the travel in the travel log, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too. In fact, Come on. I mean, let's get this survey thing. Why are we encouraging this impatient? Anyway. What's the opposite of a know-it-all? Enjoy your first in a century adventure. I probably would if it weren't for the obligatory asshole kid. Oh, and... Okay, so I've got to try and find a way to coax Hoot Hoot to show its other foot. Not really sure how you do that with just a photo. You could easily just say, oh, that's the other foot. But you could prove it. You'd need, a, you'd need video evidence, not photo evidence. Anyway, I'm rambling, and I think that's about time for us to end it. So, next time, we'll be heading up to uh, the new area. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a favourite, subscribe. I would very much appreciate it if you'd like to see more. Sorry, my, uh, my head's just a bit mush at the moment. 
Also, if possible, I would very much appreciate it if you follow me on Twitch at Danish Here. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, if you get the chance, pop over as well. I'd love to see you. So, until next time, everybody, take care. Danish out. <laughs>